Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another Linux Top 5. And since Ubuntu just came out, I want to talk today about the Top 5 Ubuntu flavors. If you're not a huge fan of the GNOME desktop like I'm not, um, you might want to be looking for another version to run Ubuntu to still have the core stable Ubuntu without anything other than Ubuntu but have a different desktop environment. Uh, so today I want to talk about the top five Ubuntu flavors according to me. Um, and of course, it's absolute truth because I said it. No, it's this is my opinion still, like everything. So if you are uh, if you happen to be unaware and you've heard of Ubuntu, but maybe you've tried and not a huge fan of GNOME, then there are a variety of different official flavors. So these are the official flavors, and there's, uh, what is this, seven of them here. So I only picked five of them, so I kicked out... Kylan because it's you know Chinese specific and Lubuntu and so I kind of went with the rest of them but I'll tell you the order that I kind of prefer to use them so let's dive on in number one Ubuntu Budgie it was hard to figure out which is the one I place on the first I am actually running Ubuntu Budgie on the computer right behind me um, what I like about Budgie is it is it has the moderny of GNOME, so it, it has it has a lot of the modern features, a lot of the things that people are looking for in a modern desktop, such as the ability to integrate online accounts if that's your thing, the ability to use location services if that's your thing. Very nice sidebar, the the Raven menu, which kind of you can push around your microphones or cameras, all this kind of stuff, wherever you want. A lot of cool modern features in Budgie, but it's not nearly as, as heavyweight as GNOME is. Um, the Budgie desktop environment, of course, was created by the Solace project, and the Ubuntu build of it's actually pretty good. I've customized mine a little bit. I'm still running on the beta because I need to maintain some, uh, some specific software packages. Um, but uh, there's only a few little changes that I made and overall I really like the budgie desktop environment if someone's like you have to use a modern environment and cinnamon's not it it would be budgie it gets boring after a little bit for me because I stare at computers all day but nevertheless it's a very good desktop environment that brings in the customizability that people expect from Linux but the modernity that uh, that you would expect from from a, a more up-to-date system course here's where you can get grab information on this it's the ubuntu budgie.org number two i went with kubuntu uh, again this is a hard call because Mate's right up there as well but the reason i put kubuntu as number two is kubuntu running kde uh, the kde desktop is just absolutely fabulous um, I'm not as huge of a fan of the Dolphin File Manager, although it is very extensible. I love the fact that you can make KDE be very simple, or you can do more with it than you possibly want. Its only major downside is that it is a little bit more complex to use. There are a ton of options and configurations. You can get lost in those, but you don't have to dive into all of those. Out of the box, it works very nice. It looks very nice. You can go with a, a modern system very easily, or you can go with a, an older skeuomorphic. You can even go with a much older look if you want to duplicate the 90s computer look. No matter what you want to do, you can do that inside of KDE. And uh, I, I, it's probably, outside of Cinnamon, probably my favorite desktop environment. It's just a, a, fabulous, uh, a fabulous desktop with a lot of features. You have the widgets, you have the theming, you have a lot of customizability, and not to mention the KDE applications, K Address Book, Kden Live, all those things that start with K. Excellent, excellent applications, good build. So you can grab information at kubuntu.org. And you can get more information. There's some videos and some other things. So that is my number two. Number three, Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Mate is, I mean, a lot of people would put this number one on the list. If I'm talking to a brand new user who wants to mimic some of the appearances and designs that you might find inside of a Windows type environment, a Mate would probably move into that first spot. It just, for me, it doesn't, it doesn't have quite as the polish as the other desktops have. It is just as customizable as KDE, but a lot simpler to customize. 
Um, it's just for whatever reason I don't like it as much as KDE, which is the only reason I put Kabuntu up there. A lot of people are going to disagree with me with that. They would probably put Mate above Kabuntu. Uh, but the, the Ubuntu Mate desktop... Uh, it's out of the box. It works very nice. It's polished. You have a lot of different themes, a lot of different customizability. It works great. A lot of functions, a lot of features. You can grab information at ubuntu-mate.org where you can get some different themes. You can get some information, see what packages are available. You can also run this, by the way, on a Raspberry Pi if you're looking for, for something like that. Sounds like a fun thing to try. But anyway, there is Ubuntu Mate as my number three spot. Number four, Zubuntu. Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop. The XFCE desktop is, uh, is a little underrated at times. It has the ability to be uh, modern. It has the ability to kind of look old. A lot of the customizability kind of feels a little more old school than than some of the other environments like Mate has a little bit better uh, better ability to to have some more modern elements. Cinnamon does. Of course, we talked about Budgie, things like that. But with CSS and easy access configuration files, you can do pretty much anything you want with this and many other ones. However, where the XFCE desktop really shines is on lower end or lower spec machines. This thing runs on like 300 to 400 megabytes, which is very, very good. Extremely lightweight, very powerful, and very feature rich. The XFCE desktop, I'm not sure why it's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely an excellent desktop. If you're looking for an Ubuntu build on a very lightweight computer, do not underestimate uh, the XFCE build. Uh, that is a, uh, a great place to go. You can grab information at uh, zubuntu.org. That's X U. B U N T U dot O R G, and you can grab information. You can download the releases. Um, so they have right there on their page the 1804 LTS releases. So you can grab information about those right on over there. And my number five pick, I chose to put Ubuntu Studio here. Um, this is another Ubuntu that runs the uh, XFCE. I believe it's the XFCE desktop. Um, but uh, where this one really shines is if you are a creative person. It is the Ubuntu for creative humans, or I think they call it Linux for creative humans. Uh, it is a build that has pretty much anything you need to run any variety of different, uh, any variety of different production, whether you're looking at audio production, video production, graphic design, book production, any type of niche desktop publishing or any other type of publishing field, you have the ability to do inside of Ubuntu Studio. Right out of the box, it supports all these different options. The installer allows you to pick the type of areas you're creative in. If you want to be a music producer but don't care about all the other stuff, you just select the music packs. And then what it will do is it will pre-configure all of the different settings that you might need for doing production in whichever one of those environments you have chosen. Of course, that is ubuntustudio.org. It's their website. You can go here and get the latest 1804 uh, LTS release. And um, it is, like I said, is a great, uh, great build. It, it is built on the XFCE desktop because it keep it lightweight for all the other stuff you're using. It is a pretty big download. That's a downside of it. Uh, but it is a, an excellent system for uh, anybody that is looking for uh, just a great build in, uh, in any type of uh, desktop publishing or any other type of publishing for that matter. So thanks for watching this video on the top five Ubuntu flavors. You can help support the channel at switchtolinux.com forward slash support. Over there you can get information on the Amazon uh, links and the PayPal links. Of course the Amazon link is uh, down below. If you want to get something like a coffee cup, a t-shirt, anything like that, check out shop.switchtolinux.com. There's a variety of different products over there. Uh, including the kitty is on a few of those items as well. And if you are on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. So thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.